Hey guys, welcome back to FedEx Gaming's Redstone Tutorials. Please leave a like on this video, it will really help my channel grow and I'd really appreciate it. So what I'm gonna be showing you guys how to build today is pretty much a wall crusher. It pretty much moves the wall in until you get crushed. Now I made this for adventure map people. So like, let's say you're trying to solve a, a puzzle or something and the wall's moving in while you're trying to solve the puzzle and you're, you're going hysteric or something, or maybe you just wanna build it for a friend and take away his privileges and just crush your friend in it. So let's just see what this thing does. Okay, so I'm gonna go, like, let's pretend there's a wall here. We're gonna go in and it's like, oh, now it's like, it closes behind you. And I gave it a little bit of time so people wouldn't find out. Now, as you can see, the walls start moving in. The only thing is like the walls won't keep moving in until the gravel completely settles. But I don't really see a, a bad thing about that actually, because one, you need time honestly to figure out the puzzle. And then two, you will notice while it gets closer and closer down, the less gravel means the faster it starts moving in. So it starts off slow, but then starts moving in faster and faster and faster. And you know you're about to die. <laughs> I mean, or you could, like I said, you could just take away your friend's privileges, shove him in there and just pretty much sit behind a glass wall, just laughing at him until the inevitable happens and he gets killed. You could do that. Or you could be sick and sadistic and put a bunch of piggies in there and watch them get turned into pancakes. It's a bad day to be a pig. <laughs> yeah, they're gonna die. Yes, I just showed you a video of me crushing a bunch of pigs while laughing maniacally. So yeah, guys, this is my wall. Now, this is also expandable, very expandable. It doesn't have to be four. Some of you might be wondering, oh, it's only four, that sucks. But it's very expandable. You can bring it out 15. So from this four, I can bring it all the way out to 15 and you can bring it up 15. Just remember that the bigger you make it, the longer it's gonna take for it to close. Because like I said, it has to wait for the gravel to settle before it can do it again. But like I said, if you have a really hard puzzle, then the more time, the better. So let's just start building this thing right away. All right, guys, so for this build, I can't really give you a definite on your resources because the bigger you make it, the more resources you're going to need. So all I can say is you're going to need at least pistons, redstone, at least three torches. Now, this is what you're going to need. You need at least three torches, glowstone, at least five repeaters, two levers, and a buttload of sand. And now remember, all of this needs to be doubled if you do both sides with closing. You don't have to do both sides. You can make it only one side and then just have them get pinned up against the wall and die. I mean... <laughs> Because, well, this is a death trap. Or, I mean, you could kill pigs and cows too this way. But, I mean, like I said, sadistic. Remember the video. <laughs> so, here's our wall. So, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the four, the, the four by four. And then I'll show you how to expand it. The expansion's super easy. Nothing to it. So, what you want to do is come up to your wall and then you just dig out four. And then dig out another four. So, pretend this is your, pretend this is your wall right here still like that that's your uh, main wall and then what we're going to do is put pistons on this back layer like that a nice four by four and like I said I'll tell you how to expand it afterwards next we're gonna put our walling back in front of it don't worry this will be pushed out in the end so it'll be right here so everything will look nice Next, we're going to come to the backhand side. Actually, I should have took a block out of choice to put my redstone dust down. We're going to come out to the back and go to the bottom layer pistons, come out to and then put a layer and then go up to and put another layer and then go up to again and put another layer like that. So it looks something like this. Next, we're going to put torches on the back of each one of these. It will activate the pistons. So torch, 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 torch and torch 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 there we go next we're going to put dust all along the on top of these blocks that are connected to the torches like so there we go now we're going to come to this bottom corner one right here so at the back on the bottom if you do it on the bottom left or bottom right it doesn't really matter but we're going to come to the bottom and right where the piston is we're going to go over a block delete this one and we're going to delete this one we're going to delete both those blocks Next, we're going to come down a block and over a block like so. And then over another block, let me use redstone actually, there we go, uh, I mean a red block, like that. So it looks something like this in the corner. Next, we're gonna put dust right here and we're gonna take our lever, put it here and activate that dust. And then we're gonna go a block this way and put a repeater here, set to four ticks delay. Next, we're going to come down underneath it and where this white block is, that's right in between these two, we're just going to come over a block. Oh, we're also going to need sticky pistons for this. I forgot. We're going to need sticky pistons as well. 
we're gonna come over a block and put a sticky piston right here so it looks something like that so where this middle block is we can actually delete that and put it on the sticky piston so it looks something like this next where this one torch is right here we're gonna just delete this block right here we're gonna come down a block so down a block like that put dust on top of it and then put a torch here and make sure make sure that block is on the sticky piston so delete it again and put it on the sticky piston you have to make sure that block on that sticky piston so this tor this torch will activate that sticky piston thus when the when the gravel falls down in here it'll open up and then right where the hole is right here look down and put a redstone torch here just to break the the gravel so it doesn't get stacked up and get stuck in there so always make sure to put a torch under there so it breaks that gravel you need it to break the gravel all right back over to this four tick repeater we're going to come over another block and put another four tick repeater and then we're going to put a block in front of that one and then we're going to come out three this way one two three and then we're going to put three more repeaters all set to four ticks two three four one two three four one two three four next we're going to put a block right in front of that repeater and then up another and we're going to put dust on top of these blocks like so now this is where our glowstone comes into play so we're going to go up a glowstone up 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 and up like so then we're going to put a block on this one with a repeater here set to one tick delay now people always ask me why do i put glowstone because glowstone is the only way you can make a redstone ladder so see this is the only way to make the redstone go up like this and that will keep everything on one delay you don't on uh, i mean one uh, one tick pulse you don't have to put another repeater in there and split up the pulse it keeps it all on one pulse that's why i like it and this is what uh, pretty much counts as going up 15. So let, that'd be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. You can make this go all the way up to 15. Once you hit 15 with the glowstone block, then you got to stop. But I mean, I don't know who's going to make their wall that big anyway. So next, we're going to go right up here and put another repeater here. Set to one tick delay. And then a block here. If you're wondering why I separated the blocks like this, because then that means you, have to, you can use less repeaters for this. See, this one will activate these two. Then this one will activate this one. And if you build another one, then it'll activate two. And then if you build another one, then the next one will activate two. And so on and so forth, the bigger you get it. And like I said, that's how you expand it. If you want to expand it, just bring this out 15. This can go out 15. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. You can bring it out this far. That's if you want to expand it more. So there we go. We got that in. Oh, next. Actually, this uh, dust doesn't go here. Actually, I'm sorry. Dust doesn't go there. A torch goes here. Redstone torch goes there. Next, we're going to go up a block off the side. Of Do not put it over it because that's what this block activates it all. So then come over to and put a normal piston here and then whatever you have it hooked to a pressure pad a button once you click it this is how it activates it so this this piston it has to be a normal piston cannot be a sticky piston because that's what's going to activate it all next we got to put our gravel up so now you're probably wondering what these kind of all these blocks here kind of meant that's actually the height that means it's going to push out seven if you count it there's seven blocks one two three four five six and seven and then you can see there's a taller one right there that's the extra gravel we got to put in so i'm just going to make mine uh let's make the floor only four so let's make it only four so one two three four so that means i got to bring up the gravel at least four times so bring it up four right like that one two three four i mean one three four two one two three four three one two three four four so then i use i usually use a different block to count it out just to make sure i always have the same amount so that's one two three and see i missed one four there we go so that will push out four next we're going to bring all the gravel up just bring it all the way up bring it all the way up and bring it all the way up and now for the extra block if we go up any higher we have to go up another four on this side where wherever it drops down right here where it drops down right in here you have to go up another four one two three four and then of course if you i mean if you had five then you have to go up five over here if you had six then you have to go up six over here if you have seven like over there you have to go up seven over there so right ours is just four so we only have to go up an extra four and then that should be it if i put something if i put right here and then i put a button it should activate it all and then just start moving it so here we go 
opens it up, drops it in, pushes. That falls down, breaks, opens up, pushes. That breaks, pushes. And last but not least, boom. Now, of course, you can, uh, you can fool, I put this many repeaters here like this, because this is the hot, that's the longest setting. If you want to make it shorter by a little bit or here and there, you want to tweak these repeaters right here. But don't make them all on one tick or it will go too fast and end up grab, uh, breaking the gravel. So I kept it like that. You can make it shorter though. You can. But yeah, guys, that's how you easily build it. There's no reason for me to build it on the other side because literally all you have to do is mirror it. It's just a mirror image on that side. And like I said, if you want to expand it, just bring this up more. And you know, just bring it up like this. Bring the glowstone ladder up more. Just keep bringing it up more and more like that the higher you want it to go and then just bring more repeaters out add more torches and then if you want to go longer instead of taller just bring it out more like this with the dust so there you guys go that's how you make an easy moving wall that will suffocate and kill you if you enjoyed this video leave it a like and subscribe to stay tuned with my newest videos all right guys peace <laughs>